Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add logout links to your WordPress website in various locations such as the header menu, sidebar footer, and also how to redirect the logout link to any specific page that you would like. So we can see that the logout link is accessible through the admin menu bar over here. However, if we are hiding the menu bar to non-administrator, we will need to provide a different alternative. So first thing, let's add it to the menu. We can access the menus from here or through the dashboard itself by clicking on dashboard and then appearance menus. Excellent. Make sure you're editing the right menu, the header menu. And here we're going to choose the custom links option. We're going to enter the link and the link text. Go to the written blog post. You have the link in the description down below. And this is the default logout link. Copy it from here and we need to change this part, the domain name. All right, we're going to, put, to paste it here in the URL. And over here, we are going to change the domain name to our website. Okay, so it's going to be our domain name. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to delete this example.com. Just like that and paste it over here. Make sure I don't have the double slash over there and I do. So I'm going to delete one of them just like that. And I'm going to enter logout. Add to menu. And I can see that it was added to the bottom of the menu. Excellent. I'm just going to save the menu. Navigate back to my homepage to make sure it's over there and it's looking good. And it is. When clicking on it, if we did correctly, it's going to show us this warning message. And when we're clicking on the logout in the warning message, we will finally be logged out. Later on in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to skip the warning message and also how to redirect to a custom page and not this default login screen that WordPress uh, generated for us. Okay, so stay with me. I'm going to show you that pretty quickly uh, over here. Now let's log in back again. I want to show you uh, one more thing, how to edit to the footer or to the sidebar using the widgets. So go to appearance and then widgets. Over here, depends on the theme. You have many locations that where you can put widgets on. In this default theme, 2020, we have only two locations, footer one and footer two. In your team, you may have more than that. So let's drag the custom HTML box to the desired location. Go back to my written blog post, scroll down and look for the default link wrapped inside an href. Okay, I created it for you. You can just use it, copy it from my blog post and type it, enter it over here. Of course, like we did earlier, we do need to change the domain name from the example.com to your actual domain name of your website. I'm gonna do it again one more time with you guys. Copy and paste it over here again accidentally i have double forward slash i'm going to delete one of them click save revisit my website and there you go as you can see it's a big, pretty big footer but you can see the logout link over there clicking on it will act exactly as the link in the header warning sign and finally it's going to log us out Excellent. So it's working uh, good, not perfectly. We're going to improve it uh, in a bit. Now I want to show you something really funny. When you are logged out, it still show you log out link, even though that you don't need to use it because you are not logged in. So we have an issue here that we need to fix. We need to hide the log out link to users that are not logged in. In order to do that, let's log in back again to our website. And even though that there are many plugins to do it for us, I want to show you how to do it with simple css rule right click on the menu item that you would like to hide click inspect and you can see it over here uh, the menu item has a class of menu dash item dash 22 your menu item gonna have similar class but a different number okay now logged in users have a body class of logged in now that we know both classes we can create a css rule that will hide the menu item always unless you are logged in. So click on customize, over here go to additional CSS. I already created the CSS rule in my written blog post. Again, just scroll down, find it over here. This CSS rule mean hide this menu item, but show it if the user is logged in. 
in the blog post it's set to be 20 but uh, as i showed you in the video the menu item is 22 you will need to adjust it to the relevant number of your item okay just click publish and when visiting the website we can see the logout link there however if we're visiting from incognito we can see that the link is not there it's hidden which is good because they don't need to see a logout link excellent so now we have one more thing to do which is to disable the warning screen and also redirect the logout link to a custom page that's also very easy to do we are going to use a function i created for you so let's navigate back to the dashboard here we are going to appearance and team editor we are going to look for the functions.php file from the list on the right we're going to click here and scroll all the way to the bottom of this file you may have less functions than i have it's okay don't worry about it just scroll all the way to the bottom go to my written blog post one more time and scroll to the bottom you will have the function near the end just copy it from here and paste it over here at the bottom now this function will redirect you to a specific page with id of 10 you will need to change the id here the number 10 to the id of the page that you desire okay if you don't know how to find the id of your desired page i created a short video and i will have it in the link in the description down below after you change it just click on update file and revisit your website once again now when you're gonna click log out it will redirect you to the page that you selected in this case it's the contact us page with the id of 10.